If you're in web design, either you are a freelancer working with clients, working at an agency, doing web design as your full-time job, or you are a client who's working with a designer to get your business web set up, this tool is gonna make your life 10 times better. If you're working on a web design project and you're drowning in long email threads or Slack messages or just a lot of back and forth or just a whole bunch of meetings just back and forth on the feedback for what needs to go where, what changes to make, what copy to write, where to put little details. Maybe it's something you do within your team, your design team of three. You have a lot of feedback, you have a lot of collaboration but it's all messy. This tool is gonna fix all that all at once. So let's take a look what it is and you can evaluate for yourself like if it's actually gonna make your life 10 times better or I'm just getting here. It's called WebVisio. Once you sign up, you can you know create multiple projects based on your plan. And here, to get started on a project, you can either add the URL, or if you're still working in the design or mock-up stage, you can add screenshots of like whatever design that you have. So as soon as you have a project up, you know, I'm just gonna use a URL here as an example. Here you have all the pages in different tabs. So it kind of looks like, like a browser, except you know, you have all the pages open in different tabs. So you can like get feedback for each individual page. So what you can do here is, you know, you can add multiple team members and you can, wherever you wanna give feedback, either for your coworkers or for a client, all you're gonna do is just click where you want the feedback for, and you're gonna have this pop-up. And this pop-up, it's gonna be like any project management software. So you can give it a title, you can describe what changes you want, maybe, you know, the font's not right, or you'd want it to like maybe have a bit of animation, whatever that might be, we can just type it in and you can select the deadline of something that's more time sensitive, you can give it a priority. If it's high priority, something that needs to be fixed right away. And if you can explain uh, with, you know, with just the words, you can record a video. So you can just go here to the video option where you can record the video so you can, you know, express yourself better in terms of what you're really trying to say. And of course, you know, you can emphasize on the text as well. You can like do all sort of like, you know, bold italics, kind of like format your text however you want. If you just want to be more structured and organized, maybe you have templates you want to work with in terms of feedback, or maybe like you're working with an client, you're like the project manager, you can just assign it to whoever's on the team who's going to look after this. You can literally assign it to people. You can tag them and, or you can like change labels as well. So maybe like depending on how complex the project is, you may have different labels, for example, like different stages of the project. Maybe it's like, you know, it's content type of feedback, it's enhancements, it's like testing, it's for bugs, it's for something else, or for feature development. So again, there's like all those customizations are there. So it really makes it super easy to collaborate with multiple stakeholders and people to add feedback onto any design project you or your team might be working on. But that's not all it. So let's say you have like, you know, 20, 30 things of different feedback on all different pages, but now that's gonna get messy. Like who's gonna go through like all these different pages to look at trying to find all these different like pins where the feedback is. You also have a board. Just like any project management software, all these tasks, all these little feedback points you're gonna be adding through the visual aspect of the visual canvas. It's also like a task card. So if you go to the task mode, you literally have all the tasks added so you can like manage it even better. And this one more little feature, which I thought was actually super cool for every feedback you're adding, it also has a device information. I've worked as a QA, I've worked as a product manager. I know how important it is to figure out what the device is, where the issue is happening. So that way you can actually see if it's like a global issue or it's a very specific issue for certain users. Instead of you having to add that manually, it has that information on it automatically, which I thought was super cool. You can think of this as your Trello or whatnot but through like a visual element to it, which is critical for web design projects. Let's quickly look at the pricing here. So the bummer is that there is no free plan, but like a cheapest plan here is 28 bucks a month that has up to five users and 10 projects. Again, if you're a freelancer, you are a designer, uh, you're working with the team, like I feel like 28 bucks with the amount of time is gonna save you is probably a decent bet. But you tell me if this tool is worth it or doesn't seem like worth it based on like an offer and how much time it's gonna save you. If you learned something new and inspirations part, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more tools, and uh, I'll see you in the next videos.